Our next guest calls this a, quote, monster print and guide. Jared Holtz, a Mizuho Securities America healthcare sector strategist, is here with us again in Post 9. It's great to see you, Jared. Welcome. You too. Uh, monster, and you think some of these concerns about supply imbalances might keep the street a little more cautious, allowing for future beats as well? Yeah, for sure. This is a company that typically guides fairly conservatively. They came in ahead of the street. I think that's a, a very good sign. Obviously, the stock has been huge already. It's up 20 percent in just under six weeks. I think it pre-traded a lot into the quarter here, probably why the stock is not up even more. Um, but yeah, I think the supply demand imbalance favors the companies. They're ratcheting up manufacturing. You saw what Novo did yesterday, $11 billion just to you know, keep this thing going. So I think, yeah, it bodes pretty well. Are, are clients asking about valuation or not yet? They're definitely asking about it, but they've been talking about it for over a year, right? And it hasn't been a huge deterrent. I think part of that is because in healthcare, there aren't that many big opportunities from a market standpoint where the, the street can just say, okay, this seems very clear to us that it's going to be a massive opportunity. That's kept people in the game. So 60 times earnings on this year's numbers is well outside the peer group. That's been the biggest pushback. I think that'll continue to be the biggest pushback into the rest of the year. Where are we on the next stage of uh, different types of uh, dose mechanisms or advertising that would, I guess, bolster demand even more? Yeah, I don't even think the drugs are really in, you know, the, the majority of America yet. I think this is pretty much a metropolitan area drug for the most part. Um, New York, Miami, L.A., Dallas are the four cities that I've been talking about a lot. But middle America, I don't even think close. Eli Lilly put that Lilly Direct business in operation um, a short time ago. I think that's to get to the drug into people who actually need it, that are, you know, medically obese by definition. That we haven't really seen in numbers yet. And yet ZepBound did almost $200 million in one month, right? So you annualize that. Not so bad. Um, I think this will probably keep going. And, yeah, the manufacturing to me is probably the, the biggest hurdle. Well, you know, it's funny in manufacturing because we saw that deal yesterday for Nova Nordisk where they bought those, well, will buy those three manufacturing plants from Catalan. Is there simply going to be a capacity constraint problem here for either Lilly and or even Nova Nordisk over time? Yeah, for sure. I think that's what we're seeing. I mean, $11 billion just, you know, to make one drug, essentially. I mean, it'll be more over time. Um, but I think Novo had mentioned last year they were going to set aside $6 billion, so they almost doubled that number with the deal, you know, supposing this goes through with FTC, et cetera. Um, yeah, I think Lilly has earmarked $3 billion. So these, this is the most sort of substantial manufacturing or capacity bill that we've seen in the drug industry maybe ever, I mean, certainly since COVID. Um, and I think these drugs will, will obviously clear that hurdle over the next few years. Will they years. be the biggest selling drugs of all time? They, they will be. I think that the, the biggest kind of impediment is going to be payer pushback. Insurance companies saying enough is enough. Who really needs this versus who doesn't? But we're not even there yet. We haven't scratched the surface in terms of how big the drugs are going to get. Really quick, um, in AI, they talk about the chase for AI is crowding out other types of cloud spending. Is this crowding out legitimate growth stories in cancer or any kind of other maladies? I mean, from an investment standpoint, I think certainly, right? These are the easiest stories to understand kind of ubiquitously, and I think the street is, is obviously onto it and has been onto it for a while. Um, in terms of manufacturing, potentially, I mean, that's one of the things that I think Novo and Lilia both have alluded to, which is to say that the capacity that they have for manufacturing in this one category, yeah, that might eliminate, you know, different SKUs for other drugs, but I, I don't think we're, you know, in that arena yet.